Okay, to get started, go ahead and navigate to olama.com and you'll get this website here to appear. Next, we're going to go over to download here. And of course, this video is about how to install Olama on a Mac. So that's what we're going to do here. So next, go ahead and click download for Mac here and this will download it. Next, I am going to hop over to my downloads folder. Okay, so once you've navigated over to your downloads folder, you should then see this Olama zip file here. Next, just go ahead and double click that and unzip it. And we can see we have our Olama app here. What I'm going to do now is next drag that into my applications folder and then go to the applications folder and find where the Olama app is here. Double click on that and it should now allow you to open it. And once you're done opening that, you should be able to go to the very top here and you can see I now have a Olama head. And if I click on that, I can then quit Olama. So now we know we have successfully installed Olama on our Mac. Next, we're gonna jump over into the terminal and I'm gonna go through a handful of commands that are going to be important for you to know in order to effectively use Olama on your Mac. So that's what we'll jump to next. Okay, I'm now in terminal and I have it open here and I'm going to briefly go over a few commands that we're going to need to know. The first command that I am going to run is Olama help. And this is just going to list all the commands that are available to us when running Olama on our Mac. Now, I'm not going to go through all of these commands. I'm only going to go over the commands that are going to be critical for us to getting this up and running on our MacBooks here. So the only command that I am going to go over here are going to be the pull command, the run command, list command, and the remove command. So those are going to be the most common commands you usually use when running Olama in the command line. Now, you may be wondering, hey, how do I get uncensored models pulled down onto my laptop? So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to jump back over into the browser, and I'm going to briefly outline how we go about finding and discovering models that we can run locally on our MacBooks. Okay, so we're back at the Olama.com website. Now, in order to find models, you're, what you're going to want to do is go to the very top here and select models. Now, we're presented here with the screen where all the different models are listed. Obviously, you could scroll through here if you wanted to to try to find models, but the most efficient way is to really go in here and type the model name that you're looking for. There's other options here like most popular or the newest. Now, we're going to be downloading the Llama 2 uncensored model so that we can run it locally on our MacBooks. Now, what I'm going to do here is because I know uncensored is in the name. I'm just going to type that and see what shows up. So there's several uncensored models here. You can go through here and download some other ones. But the one we're going to focus on in this particular video is the Llama 2 Uncensored. So I am now going to click on that. And you get a little information about the model. We can see who the creators are. They're telling you their names and what the model is based on. We can see it's based on the Llama 2 model. Now we can scroll further down here and there's a drop down here where it shows different sub models that belong to this uncensored model. We can see the different parameter counts here. We can see there's a 7 billion parameter uncensored model, a 70 billion parameter uncensored model also here. And then you have some that are more tuned for specific use cases. We can see this one here is for chat. And you can see the different sizes of these models as for how much space they're going to take up on your hard drive. Okay, so next here, we can go down here and we can see different information about the model. We can see the model family. This is based on the Meta Llama model here. And then we can see the parameter count. The larger the parameter count, the more memory you're going to need on your GPU in order to run this particular model. And then next here, we have some information about quantization. So this is just telling you how were the weights decreased. Most of the time, the weights are 32 bit. We can see that the weights for this model were decreased to four bit, which allows us to run this model on consumer grade hardware. We don't need something that's running in a data center. And then we can see things around licensing, parameters and templates. We won't go really deep into these areas here, but all the models here on the Olama website have this baseline information. And then next here, we have Olama run Llama 2 uncensored. 
Now this is the command that you will use to actually run the model on your laptop. If the model is not installed on your laptop, then the model will be pulled down and then ran. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to jump back over into the terminal and actually run this uncensored model. Okay, so we're back at the terminal here and I am going to go ahead and download the Llama 2 uncensored model. I'm just going to paste in that command. Actually, I got to go back. Olama run and now you can see it's actually pulling down this model onto my laptop. Now I have a pretty fast internet connection here so it'll only take about a minute for me to download this entire 3.8 gig model. If you're on a slower internet connection it may take you a little bit longer. So I'll come back after this is done installing and we'll go through a couple more commands. All right we're back and our model has now been installed here and available for us to send questions to it. Now once your model is done running for you and downloading, you'll be presented here with a send a message. And this allows you to go ahead and send questions over to the model. Now I am going to say, what can you do for me? Let's see what it says. I'm an assistant and I can do tasks and help you achieve your goals. I'm gonna ask it another question here. Create sample Python code with multiple classes and functions. See how good it is at generating code for us. Uh, so it's doing a pretty good job here. It's generating some boilerplate code for us here and then giving us some information about how you would run it. So we've now officially downloaded the Llama 2 uncensored model. Now on your own free time, feel free to ask it whatever questions you would like. It will answer pretty much anything you can think of, but I won't do it here on this YouTube video to keep it, you know, PG or appropriate here. But feel free again to go ahead and run it and see what you can get it to answer for you. Now to exit this here, I am going to select buy and I'm going to go over a couple other commands that are going to be important for you. Now, Olama, and we're going to type in list. Now this will list the models that we've downloaded here. You can see I have the Llama 2 uncensored model here, but let's go ahead and download a, another model. I am going to download Olama. Actually, I'm going to download Code Llama, which is specifically designed to be a coding model. And how you do that without actually having to run your model is call Olama pull code llama, and it is now pulling down our model for us, but it, what it won't do is it will not run this model for us. So I'm gonna let this get done downloading and then come back and then go through one more command that's going to be key for you. Okay, we're back and the code llama model has been downloaded completely for us. So let's run Olama list again, and we can now see we have two models available to us. We have code llama and Llama 2 uncensored. And of course, if we want to run Code Llama, we would just call a Llama run Code Llama. And that is all it is to it. So we can say, What type of model are you? And what can you do? All right. So it's given us some information about the different types of things it can do for us chatbot, language translation, the usual things. All right, so I am going to type in slash buy, clear this, Olama help, and we're gonna go over one more command, like I mentioned, and it is going to be the remove command, or the rm command here. So I'm going to type in Olama list again, and let's say we're no longer using a particular model on our computer anymore, and we don't want it taking up space on our disk. What we can do is type in Olama RM and the name of the model there, which is Code Llama. And I can click enter, and you can see it says deleted Code Llama. So if we run Olama list again, it no longer exists there. So that's how you would go about removing models there. Now you may be saying, great, we've got the uncensored models running on our local computers, but how would I go about? actually building an application and using this in a chatbot. So I don't have to 
go into the terminal and actually type out these commands here. Now, if you're interested in learning about how you would build your own chatbot that uses uncensored models, check out the video that's on this screen that's showing up now. And hopefully that helps guide you a little bit further in your journey about implementing open source models on your own local computer. And I appreciate you staying this long. If you like the content, like, subscribe. It helps push the content out to other people who would find it helpful to them. So again, thank you for joining and see you in the next video.